Alrighty. Let's go. Time for some shells retriever. <clears throat> Carthesius. You got killed by a bear. <laughs> oh, there was the spells. Yeah. I know that feel, man. Shell jumps are so overused in Kaizo level design. Boo hoo. <coughs> Yeshi's house. I highly recommend you to read the text file that comes with the patch. Nah. <laughs> the forest level. Yeah, I wish I knew how to read. is un-American. Oh, Lord. Freedom only. <laughs> We've only got freedom here. Yeah, imagine dying on a two-bucket, man. Two bucket. <coughs> Excuse me, geez, Louise, dying. I think I just have to wait longer to throw it. I think that's my issue. Wow. Yo, one game. Look at your ball. Look at your ball. 
Bon, 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 The second level. Yeah, text files are for baddies. Yo, take it easy, Tribal. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Enjoy crashing while playing EverQuest. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Kodiaks are definitely a blow up. More likely than you think, absolutely. <clears throat> well, no, she like, she has the ball in the doorway, and she like runs over there and plays with it and expects me to like, go you know, get it. Yeah, like teleport or something. Wasn't expecting to get over that with one jump, but all right. Close with this one. No, I agree. the The standard SMW music is not bad. Like, it's definitely not bad. Classic SMW music is really good. <clears throat> I 
Oh my gosh. Maybe just have Yoshi for like a second before Yoshi goes in the pit. <laughs> Get ditched. the hacks like this or you mean like shell hacks is that what you're referring to in this or um so with certain hacks there are some leeway but others that isn't the case Like, with shells, there's, like, a little bit of leeway, but not that much. Like... A lot of it is definitely precise movement, though. Yeah. It really depends on the difficulty of the hack of how much wiggle room you have. But I mean, the only way you're really going to tell, because I can tell you how, like, tight something is, right? But the only way to really know is if you boot it up and track yourself. Right, Moose? Oh, my God. Ugh. I mean, I would suggest booting up, like, Quickie World or something and just giving it a go. Because that's, like, a really entry-level Kaizo. It only just gets much more, you know, execution heavy from there. Yeah, a lot of Kaizo is precision and execution. Like, for sure. There are... If you're really good at the game, you can, no. you have a lot no, more room to play around with. Whereas if you're playing an easier hack, it has built-in leniency more often than not. Like, so instead of having to do like a one tile jump, it's like, you know, two or three or whatever, right? For example, like here it might not be a four bucket, it might only be a, like a two bucket or something. Or like a three.
Or maybe it is easier because it is four. Because you're coming in at that angle. We're here for a bit. One single shell jump. Uh -huh. Let's just jump on the shell. The ice cave level. All right. Take that, text file. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of Kaizo is execution, for sure. It's not, there's not, like, a shit ton of leeway and I'm just making it look hard. You know, or else a lot of people would be playing Kaizo. <laughs> Which, I mean, I hope more people do play Kaizo. Yeah. Because it's on, uh, 0F or whatever, 1-0-F, if I just hit it like that, it won't go- it drops faster. Because it's on, like, that layer 2, it's weird. Normally you would be correct, but yeah, no, it's not a standard tile. Yeah, the one of zero, whatever it is. so I can take a look at this. Dang it. <laughs> Came pause. Ah. Do I have to juggle? Pausing in this economy. <laughs>
Oh, wow. You wish you could unlock titles in EQ? You might be able to, I don't think so. I know you can unlock a surname at a certain point. This is kind of a title. Close. Yeah, titles and EverQuest would be cool. I know that I think in um, retail there's titles. Heckberto, first of his name. Slayer of Orcs. Yeah, one gang. <clears throat> Making short work of this one. The ghost house one. Giga Clan. <laughs> Isn't that from uh, Breath of the Wild? Yeah, bananas. Yep. It could be annoying, yeah. Can't wait for Breath of the Wild 2. I feel like I have to do a master playthrough of Breath of the Wild at some point. <clears throat> Although that'll probably be a super blow up. <laughs> yeah, I definitely do want to play Breath of the Wild again. That game is honestly fantastic. So I can, I can actually hold jump there. Uh, 
Uh, okay. I think I have to do a back jump there. A back throw into the bucket, maybe. Stop grabbing that shell. That's when I have to just boot. What's up, guy? My guy, how you doing, bud? Professional shell tosser, yeah. I think. So I can't have Yoshi grab the flower. I don't think. Either that, or I have to get Yoshi from underneath the spikes before it grows up. I guess as we, if I progress forward, we'll kind of get an idea. Yo, Shonda! Holy heck of rooms. Yo, thank you so much for it. Thank you very much for coming. Ah! Yeah, welcome everybody. We were playing Casio, but we got absolutely dumpster. <laughs> so here we are. We're kind of chilling out, playing some shells retriever. Ugh. But yo, thank you, thank you so much for raid. Shonda, what were you playing today? Were you listening to Eldad and playing Bad Hacks? Who Eldad swears he doesn't ever recommend Bad Hacks. <laughs> Do I even need the Yoshi? I think is the better question here. Stacy World, Pega World, and Watermelon World? Let's go. Those are actually really good. I think I have actually played all those. Yeah, they're just super nice. Just really chill. Cindy World 1 and 2. Cindy World 1 and 2 are really good. I enjoyed those. 
Uh, nothing world? I'm trying to remember. I know I've played it. But yo, get them, get them easy Kaizo hacks done. It feels so nice to be able to play, uh, like, the easier hacks and just absolutely destroy them. <laughs> feels real good. Not gonna lie. Oy. Yeah, so we got, I'm pretty sure we got pretty close to the midway of the first level in uh, Casio. But I don't want to push it, like, too hard. Yeah, you got seven episodes left of the original Dragon Ball? Let's go. Heck yeah. Just another thing I got to throw on the list of stuff to watch. Although the new Witcher is out, so I have to watch that now. Witcher Season 2? I am pretty excited about it. Witcher Season 1 was super, super good. Oh, you're good. No worries. Yeah, welcome everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're currently working on beating all the Kaizos. We finished up uh, Memento Mori earlier today. And this is Kaizo 152. I mean, I still have a couple in the backlog that I'm still working on, but... Like, uh, Grand Prix World 1, I'm on the last level. Uh, Kaizo Mario 1, we're running that back, and I'm doing Special World this time. Because I only 80% of that the first time I played through it. Uh, and Special World, well, it's, uh, it's special. Uh. And yeah, we just started Casio, also got things on the back burner, too. Jeez Louise. Well, yeah. Yo, Herozu, what's up? Yeah, so even if I finish Kaiser Quest, <laughs> funny. Um, yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna keep playing. I don't feel like I don't think I'm gonna like stop playing Kaiser. <laughs> Special badge. Yeah, probably not. Yo, Hirazu, how you doing today? You have to go to work? Yo, it feels bad. I like, I feel like I have to... Get Yoshi here. Yo, then you got four days off? Let's go. Oh, the four days off are good. Yeah. Honestly, like, I always used to look forward to, like, three-day weekends. That shit was the best. You get a three-day weekend, it's like, heck yeah. Extra day off? Let's go. Do I have to kick Yoshi down there? Maybe. Yo, Birthmas? Yo, nice. I think we talked about that, I think. Millers, huh? What? Yo, on the 7th? Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Happy early birthday if I don't get to see you. Hi, what do you want? Do you want pets? You're a boomer. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I'm a boomer too, I get you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't hit the shell jump.
think here. So, if that's a vine, I mean, I could just not pick up Yoshi, throw it off the brake, bounce off the shell, and land up top. Like, cool. I feel like I'm gonna get punished for not having Yoshi, though. Like, I seriously feel like I'm going to get punished for not having Yoshi. I guess only one real way to find out, right? Hey! Yeah, I'm definitely excited to play more uh, Yakuza today. Yakuza has been an absolute, absolute, like, treat to play. game is too good. Hey. <clears throat> boo, 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 boo. So, I guess it's finally good that we learned about the whole lust machine guy. Although I'm definitely not I'm not, like, even doing that aspect of the game on screen. Not a chance. Not today, Twitch. <laughs> Jeez. That guy's weird. I can't even remember his name. I know he's weird, though. Just shows up out of nowhere. Mr. Libido, yeah. What'd you come back to? So there's this guy in Yakuza who's just like in his underwear. He's called Mr. Libido. He's so weird. He's so weird. I mean, so far I've been super enjoying it. Yeah, Mr. Libido, yeah. He's a lust machine. Hey. Yeah, Yakuza 0 is really good so far. Stupid Chucks and Casio, dude. This is so annoying. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Or maybe I'm supposed to yeet Yoshi down? I mean, that would make it less... Oh, no, I am, yeah. That would make it less stupid. That's why that brick is there. Okay. I get it now. Alright, I don't have to keep Yoshi. Hmm. 
<clears throat> so I think we do just want to chuck Yoshi there. Okay. It should make this section a lot easier. Yo, Wraith energy drink? <laughs> what what Wraith energy drink? Wraith energy? You can get 20% off by using code Taku at checkout? Let's go. Support the stream. Hashtag sellout. Oh god. Oh god, I can't fight. Okay, cool. They even got Christmas flavors now, like Mojito, Porn Star Sweat, <laughs> and Cosmo, because those are Christmas flavors. It's not Christmas unless you're drinking. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm like genuinely interested in uh, the Cosmo and Mojito. Like, genuinely interested. Have an eggnog flavored energy drink? No, I'm not even kidding. No, they, they actually do. Yeah. That's their, they have like a Christmas box. You can get like uh, three tubs for with like a discount it's pretty it's pretty like i was tempted i was pretty tempted to get it honestly what a broncos thing ranch dressing soda no I use code Kaku when I when I uh, order stuff. No, because I just get it for free. <laughs> they just they just send it to me. It'd be kind of it'd be kind of roundabout for me to get like to use my own discount code. But like if my partner orders something, yeah, sure. I have a, I have a, like a personal code I can use too, but but no, I just let them know and they just send me stuff. Send me stoof, basically. <clears throat> Big Daddy's Burgers. The word, the word Daddy is forever ruined. Oh, I have a scroll? Just trying to see if I can jump up and do it. That's pretty funny, though. Did you stop and get a daddy burger? Or no? But yeah, I know ranch soda exists. I've been tempted to pick it up, but I know it's just going to be nightmare fuel. 
You hate burgers? Ah, uh, that's fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Have we ever just taken ranch dressing and added, um, soda water to it, like seltzer water, to make sparkling ranch? Why has somebody not made this? Look it. You might be saying, Kaku, why would you even wish that into this world? Look it. There's flaming hot Mountain Dew, okay? <laughs> There's flaming hot Mountain Dew. I don't even want to hear it. All right. Ranch soda definitely exists. I'm just saying. It exists. But if you want some, you want some Hidden Valley Ranch soda? How do you turn off somebody else's stream? Well, welcome to the curse. Have you ever just thought about adding some seltzer water? Just some ranch, some Hidden Valley Ranch. Oh my god. How do you unhear something you don't? It's too late, I've already planted the thought. This is what Casio does to me, chat. This is what Kaizo does. You slowly lose your mind. Moose, I know what'll fix it. And it's not a big hammer. It's Hidden Valley Ranch soda, complete with seltzer water. Just, no, no, it's not. No, that wasn't a plug. No, I'm just trying to double down here. But I mean, let's be honest. Let's not limit it just to ranch. Right? What happened if you had some Thousand Island soda? Strawberry, peanut butter, sausage, water, milkshake, yes. Yo, Raid Shadow Legends? Alright, Moose. Take it easy. Moose has had enough of my shit. <laughs> Strawberry, peanut butter, sausage, water, milkshake. Sounds delicious. I'll draw the P. It's alright, I, I understand you're watching this stream under protest now. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what they do in baseball. You gotta print it out, you gotta print it out in triplicate. And then fax it to me so I can have that fax machine run right into the garbage can. Right into a shredder. <laughs> but now there are some there's some wild I mean, like, there was, like, a whole Thanksgiving soda pack where you can have, like, turkey soda. Like, 
mashed potato soda. Yeah, there was some weird shit. Well, I mean, faxes are already trash at some point. Yeah, I like how I like how turkey soda is more like acceptable to you than ranch soda. Yeah, you remember that, but like you actually remember that, whereas my idea you're trying to repress. Look, all I'm saying is that Mountain Dew Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot Soda exists. And I think it's like 17 or 18 dollars a can. I'm pretty sure Ranch Soda already exists. I don't know about Thousand Island Soda. I know there's a celery soda that, like, Truman unironically likes. And, like, I've been tempted to, like, check these out, but I also know it's a mistake. Wait, what? You got no more room for belts? Oh my god. Dude, I will make a mule for you to belt up. Unless you want to take a break. Because if we can get Hero to 12, we're, we're in business. As long as Hero can play tomorrow. Or I guess we can, once Hero gets back, we can shake him down and be like, hey, use the belts. Um. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
So what is this coin for? Like, they can't want me to throw this shell in here and do a jump. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Right? Like, I can see hitting it and then jumping off of it, sure. But doing a back throw does not make sense. I'm just trying to think of how I can respawn the shell. Can you ask a dumb question? Yeah, I mean, make me feel dumb, please. Sure didn't. Let me see if that's the uh, answer. See, Shovda, this is why this is why you're partnered on Twitch and I'm not. Nah, Shovda's good. No, you don't. You didn't have to redeem. Maxi game. No, no, you're good. You're fine. not beat the vine. Okay, so I have to throw it from up higher. Yo, so I think I'm going to send a message over to Ninja and see if they want to sponsor this stream. Because apparently you and somebody else has bought an air fryer because of the stream. So I want to see... I want to see if they'll sponsor this Worst thing I could do is say no, right? to get that air fryer sponsorship. No, I 
<laughs> yeah, let's go. Nah, if anything, it'd be like 5%, let's be honest. Good thing there's no timer. Two gang. We did it, Yatta. Yatta. Yo, what's up, Tokyo Down? How you doing, dude? The Ultra Star ish. They should just went with Ultra Starfish. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, hopefully, everybody had a good weekend. Okay, so I do have to hold on to this P-switch. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah, so we're gonna try and get a little bit of Casio in every day. Like, at least two hours. Uh, like, that's the plan. So. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get the midway. Hackeroonies. Gosh, we'll have to get some um, things in as well at some point. Oh. When I beat Cassius, is when you finally might start it. That's fair. I mean, you've, you've played some really messed up shit, so, like, I would enjoy the time of playing some nicer hacks that aren't as mean. And are as, as an, aren't as meany butt faces, you know? Yeah, we're also gonna have a poll in my Discord, um, probably later today. That's gonna run for a little bit, but I wanna see what day people would be uh, most interested in a Dark Souls day, like a Souls day. Because Souls games are definitely something I need to keep playing. Because Souls member is an absolute blow-up. <laughs> the only game I've beaten is Demon Souls. <laughs> absolute blow-up. So, I gotta start devoting a day to it. Because like playing Kaizo and then doing Dark Souls or something, it's stupid. It's dumb. So, we're just gonna devote a day to it. 
Kaizo is fun sometimes? Yeah, I mean, Kaizo is really fun if you're not, like, playing just back-to-back -back really stupid hacks. I can agree with that. Stupid and dumb and dumb and stupid. So I've beaten Dark Souls before, but I'm still on my playthrough of Dark Souls. Like, I saw my second playthrough. But yeah, I have beaten Dark Souls before. But that's the only Souls game I've beaten, is Dark Souls 1. Demon Souls was my first uh, playthrough. King Allen can go suck a fat one. Like, super dumb. I literally just cheesed the last boss, because learning to fight it was stupid as hell. So we're going to have a vote to kind of see what people, what day people want it to happen on. And then we'll go from there. Because, like, Yakuza, Yakuza is chill enough that I could play that, like, any day after Kaizo. So, I'm not worried about that. But Dark Souls is, Dark Souls can get a little sweaty. Because that's a lot of trial and error, too. Especially when you get to games I don't know. Yo, welcome back, Benji. So, we'll figure that out. It probably won't be... It won't be able to be Wednesdays. Just because that's co-op day with Eldad. And we'll have to vote, like, a proper full day for it. So, Wednesdays are probably just going to be, like, you know, whatever our co-op thing is. And then, just casual. Yo, Skybills! Pet the dog. How's this hack treating me? This hack is good, although I'm pretty dumb. Look at this, look at this, look at this loaf. Huh? Look at this loaf. This is a little loaf, you know. Yeah, this hack is going good. Yeah, for the first, like, week, she was super confused about my schedule. She's like, what the hell are you doing, Kaku? Why have you done this? And she's still... She's still pretty, you know... She's still getting used to it. So yeah, going from, like, overnights to, like, you know, hey, we're days now. Just one pet. She's being good right now. Uh, she's being good. Yeah, the one scritch, and then she stopped barking for like a couple minutes. Yeah, next time she's not being good, yeah, I'll, I'll try the, the single pet. The single scritch. She was so confused. Yeah. yeah. B.L. Sky, how you been? Hopefully everything is going good with you. <clears throat> yeah, shove them. I mean, I think you're doing the right thing with uh, just playing some chill Kaisers. It also feels, it, it really does feel great to just like actually destroy a hack too, which is always nice.
One Pat Man! Yep. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of Yakuza on the horizon for this stream. I do want to I do want to slap in Twilight Princess in there some way. So we'll probably play a couple of Yakuza games, okay? Uh, and then we'll play Twilight Princess or something like that. We'll figure it out. I have to stop being lazy and check my Wii and see if it's on there. Cause it might I might just own it. <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> I haven't checked my Wii in a long time. Does, Col does Kaku really uh, forget that he owns certain games? Absolutely. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. But it's good, like, to kind of, like... I guess see the other side of Kaizo that's not just, like, absolutely bananas. You know? And, I, I, personally, that it helps me a lot with, like... You know, burnout and stuff is playing these easier ones. Because it's not like, you know, hey, you know, every hack, every hack's like an 80 hour hack, you know, get ready for the struggle bus, right? Spending like eight hours a day beating one level, yeah. That's poopy dude. Like, I mean, it's fine to a certain extent, but it's just not like. That can't be, like, the only thing to play. I... It's hard. Like, I vaguely remember... Like, I know Quickie World. Akogari, I vaguely remember. And, like, yeah, it is... It gets harder to tell the difference between them. You know? As, like, the more you play. And, like, yeah, that's definitely something that happens like as you play as you get much much better at kaizo like the lower end hacks start to blend together because they're all easy to you so you gotta kind of like look at it objectively whereas like you know um uh what's what do you use an example so i'm not spoiling um you have to, like, look at some mechanics and be like, you know, how how hard is that, you know, mechanic to pull off, right? Or how much is that, how hard is that section to pull off? Kaizo Ultra Instinct, yeah. Versus, like, oh, how much time did I spend on this section, for example? I mean, I'm still poop. I'm still poop at Kaizo. I got a long way to go. But... Like, I'm definitely starting to see it, where it's, like, really, really easy to, like, blend stuff together. Yeah. I mean, Catherine's list is pretty reliable. There are some things that I would debate with, but for the most part, Catherine's list is pretty darn good. <laughs> Yo, TJB.
Yeah. Yay. Players, people's player skill levels converge the more they play hacks. And I agree with that. The more, the more hacks you play, you learn to get better at what you're weak at. Whereas when you're starting Kaizo, there's such a variant in difficulty. Like when you, if you're new to Kaizo, what's hard to somebody might not be hard to you. But as you play more and more, then you can kind of like, yeah, this one's definitely an expert hack, right? Like, I'm pretty sure people unanimously agree that Casio is a hard hack. It's an expert hack. Take the right. Right yeah, Cat Captain's rating is... I like. I'm using it to kind of judge when I should play certain hacks, for the most part. Because either that or I'm shooting in the dark, basically. Yeah, start with Cassio and then go into something harder, like Quickie World. Absolutely. And I mean, like, I would genuinely like to come up with a better... I guess intro to Kaizo versus the QQ AIDS. One that encompasses more aspects of Kaizo, right? For example, there's no shell hack there. And, like... There are a ton of shell hacks, so I feel like maybe we should put some sort of hack there. As, like, an intro. Maybe not, like, as a first one, but, like... Yeah, it's a bad acronym, but, you know, whatever. It's kind of how it worked out. Yeah. Is that what you did, Shove though? Is that was that was that your first hack? beat Dram's but hold like a month into Kaizo and search your stamina like three months in. Alright, this is probably the only time I'm gonna say it, but you're an idiot. <laughs> that goes for me too though, so like that's fine. Like, cause my my playthroughs were Kaizo 1, Dram World. Uh, Pango World than Dram 2. So, like, I get it. I still haven't done Dram's Butthole. That's, like, one of the... That's that's why when I replay through, uh, Pango World 1... Or not Pango World, but, uh, Dram World 1. I want 100%. Because I beat everything but the Butthole. I mean, that's really impressive, honestly. Like, that's incredibly impressive. 56 hours? That's not bad. Honestly. For, like, your first hack, that's not, like, bad at all. 126? That's starting to sound like my Grand Poo World 1 playthrough. hi -ya.
Oh, fair enough. I mean, still, though, that's... Really not bad for... Like, your first, let's say, 20 ROM hacks. That's not bad. It's really not. Oh my gosh. Urgh. I mean, I guess I could just do like a bump, but... Worth it? Absolutely. Petty? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's petty. I would say that person was being an idiot, and they deserve to hold that L. I am out. Yeah, I mean... I think we do need to kind of correct the, uh, what is it? The... Like, what we recommend people to start with. Um, Kaizo lines. So that people could get a more encompassing view of what Kaizo is and be, like, set up for it. I would definitely say the quickie worlds are a good, like, starting place. Okay. I didn't know there was other lists, like, currently going around. That is good, though. I'm, like, now genuinely curious about, like, what their suggestions are. There we go. No, it's not the hair. The eye color. Kaku. Yeah. I mean, that tracks too. That's a good idea. Um, I just know that some non kai not like non kaizo hard stuff gets like really like wacky. I'd have to check out more non-Kaizo games to, like, get an idea there. Because really, a lot of my experience comes from just Kaizo in general. 
Like, I have some nine Kaizo games under my belt, but not very many. But, I mean, I do want to play more non-Kaizo games, because there's a lot of cool stuff out there. And to just limit myself just to Kaizo, I think, would be doing ROM hacking in general a disservice. Because there's a lot of cool games out there. I mean, am I going to beat all the normal hacks? No. No way. That's silly. <laughs> that would be... That would take forever. No. Literally. I could become a Fortnite streamer? I could. I heard that I'm pretty good at flossing. Kaku! <laughs> oh, man! Hiya. I think I've definitely come to appreciate uh, shell hacks more. I actually do enjoy shell hacks a whole bunch now. I think these are really cool. I know that, like, my tune might change, as I guess I see more people use the same setups over and over and over. But from what I've seen so far, these are actually pretty creative. So we'll see. this recommendation list, huh? Interesting. Okay. 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 Thank you, Shubda. I do kind of like the idea there. I know that Super Moo World and Cute Kaizo are like... I know I have those rated extremely easy, for sure. So... Hmm. Yo, what's up, Drew? How you doing?
Oh, the baby, <laughs> the baby finally came. Let's go. Small German baby. Where's Hyper Six? That's in Tier Six. Vinci. Angry as hell. Oh no. Lots of crying, I take it. Yo, get it, Benji. Three gang. One, two, three. Three. Benji, I think you would actually really enjoy Cassio. Crying when he's too cold, crying when he's hungry and can't fart, the usual, yeah. <laughs> Immediate existential crisis. <laughs> the one screen level. Can you imagine having to try to breathe for the first time? There's a total of six one-screen challenges in this level that involve at least one shell jump. One checkpoint every two rooms. Okay? <laughs> you're, not, you're not allowed to give the baby beer? I mean, that's probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine being born as a baby and already having, like, an existential crisis? Like, you just go buy a motorcycle? Okay, I see what I got. Yes, that is true. Yeah, addiction being passed on to a baby is very sad. Like that's a that's an oof moment, you know. Oi. In some places, that mom isn't given a choice, unfortunately. <clears throat> Which is insane, but you know. But I mean, yeah, I, I tend to agree with you there, Benji. True, it's not, but... Hey! I'm so happy this isn't a six... Ooh! Jeez, Elise, okay. This isn't a six-room castle. Just, like, straight up. I'm so happy. 
do six shell jump rooms and then like maybe you can uh, get a midway or something. Wife and baby are coming home tomorrow. Let's go. Wife and baby. Yeah, congrats. Congrats on little angry German kid. <laughs> angry German baby. Yeah, who would who would make a six room castle? That's rude. Yeah, who would ever do that? I guess that's one way to learn, right? The real question is, will the baby do it again? Right? Oh. 100%. Kind of learn. Jeez. They're not smooth brained like koalas. Stupid koalas. Ah! What a snipe. Yo, what's up, Topal? Yeah, my, uh, my partner's parents got me two flannel shirts, and they're super nice and comfy. They're like actual flannel. It's really, really nice. Like, I'm super, I'm super pleased. All I need uh, to complete my Horcrux, or Horcruxes are, uh, I need yoga pants, and I also need Ugg boots. Well, I mean, I, I guess you're not wrong, Shelton. <laughs> yeah, if I get Ugg boots and yoga pants, like I've completed, I'm unkillable. Oh, yeah. And also, like, people underestimate how bad, like, the first... The first baby poops are. Oh, my God. It's like your kids saved all the demons just waiting for you to change their diapers. Like, all the... All the... All the demons coming out. It's... Cr ugh. Ugh. Get that lumberjack life? I mean, yeah. I mean, I got that lumberjack, like, look going on, you know? Bald, got the got the beard. You know? I just gotta get some, uh... It exists. I have to get, like, some, uh... <laughs> actually, funny enough, I do actually have a mountain man. It's like a silver spring... Kind of lumberjacky, I guess. Brawny mits me so clean. <laughs> ah! Come on. I 
I mean, we, I gotta, we have to see uh, Hindenburg in a flannel. Hindenburg is logging. We have to ask Hindenburg next time we see him if he has a flannel shirt. Or if he has flannel shirts. I'd be genuinely surprised if he said no. There we go. How do I feel about pancakes? I like pancakes, but I feel that... I feel that waffles are superior. What is this? Let's go say hi to Mr. Kakusho, who is playing Shell's Retriever and wearing a flannel shirt. I think he's officially a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what a clip. What a clip. Let's go. Yo, flannel's godlike. Get out of here. Jeez Louise. Man. Didn't know I get bullied for wearing flannel. What the hell? Confirmed. I think this is going to be the other way. But I think I have to grab it and throw it. Yeah, it's all, it's all making sense now. The Mr. Clean commercials, the brawny towels, the baking streams. It's all coming together. <laughs> you think Kaku's blind? I mean, yeah. You mean right there? Yes, I'm blind. I did not see that actually, which is funny. Yeah, I, for some reason, never looked over there. May you suggest a thing? No! Shh! <laughs> Shh! Jeez. No! Do the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go! Do the Mario! Take one step and then again. Final level! Yo, Saku-chan, how you doing today? The final level Living together Got off working it was hell Well, hopefully we can make your day a little bit better Talk about, uh Talk about EverQuest You should play EverQuest Hell yeah, Saku-chan when you enter the door, you will gain the ability to change your time to jump in midair. Hell yes! Motor skills. Let's go. 
the entire week will be the same? Hopefully not. Motor skill shall hell. It will be. Today you were two out of four, but the rest of the week you'll be alone. But it also means nobody's watching you. And I mean, if they want to tell you, like, ah, you should work harder, you tell them to kick rocks. I mean, like, you should hire, you should hire more people. The bosses are still there? Well, your bosses should help you out instead of being dinguses. many buttons to press. Your colleagues all pissed off. I think I just need to bump that. Yeah, West Rider lunchtime. Let's go. Well, hopefully it doesn't suck, Soccer Chan. I wish you the best. TV was cool back then. TV was weird, man. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, don't let the Raptors in. Yeah, watching commercials from the 90s is weird. They just kind of did whatever the hell they wanted. Star Trek was off the airwaves. Well, I mean, Star Trek is back on TV now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 90s were pretty wild. Yeah, I had to get back into watching uh, more TNG. Hey. Oh, man. Until the next one comes along, right? What's up, Blocky Games? <laughs> I don't know. I'm still... My first Star Trek series I'm watching right now is TNG. And I got a long way to go on that one. I think I'm only like three seasons in.
Hey. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of opinions on Star Trek. That is for sure. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of Star Treks take a while for everybody to kind of find their place. Yeah, Next Generation has been excellent so far. I've been taking a break from watching because I watched like three, four seasons in like a month. That's what the internet is for, telling telling the world what some nerd thinks about Star Trek. True. True. I mean, you're not wrong. The other thing is uh, for... Uh, for playing EverQuest... On P99 green server. Let's go. Have I finished Dune yet? No. <laughs> no. I've, uh... I've been watching a lot of, like... Baking videos and stuff on YouTube. Before I go to bed. So, yeah, I haven't been reading very much. I'm trying to get back into reading, um... Like, manga and stuff. P99 partner win. Look, I can't even get partnered with S and W. Like we'll get there eventually, but Oh yeah. I could have I could have made that work. You are pulling off a back plate to dry earlier for customer and saw a piece of lint stuck in there. A fried, dried mouse corpse? At least it wasn't a live mouse. Yeah, Wayno is going to go on forever, dude. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they have to give you J-boots, yeah. God, I'm not looking forward to having to farm that. Because that will actually be super useful on my enchanter. I think it's, like, really good for every class, so... I. So, yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see once we get up there <laughs> about farming J-Boots. Which I'm sure are just, like, super camped. It might be easier just to buy them. Hiya! Close. Yeah, no, I haven't finished doing it yet. I'm still working on it. I wanted to start reading, like, Jujutsu Kaisen and stuff like that. I haven't seen any episodes of it, I just know it's like popular, so I figured I'd check it out. It's like up there on popular mangas, kind of thing. Let's figure give it a whirl. See what it's all about.
back in the dial-up days, did anybody put two AOL discs in their computer to make uh, the internet go faster? <laughs> it's been terrible. I mean, oh, that's debatable. I haven't started reading it yet, but I'm kind of, I was waiting for it to finish. <laughs> and here I thought Sky and Pia was the longest, uh. The longest arc that overstayed its welcome. Or that, yeah, overstayed its welcome. Sky Pia was trash. Yeah, I'm definitely waiting for One Piece to kind of get past Wayno before I start reading it again. Cause I don't, I do not want to have to go chapter to chapter. That would suck. Like, no, thank you. I'm not doing cliffhangers. <laughs> Let go of Y there. I don't have to. There I do, but not before. It's weird. <laughs> I have not I have not read Haru yet. I know that like I need to. Cuz I know it's really good, but uh, the music is divine. I will have to see what I can do. Cause yeah, I think that one's been on my list for a long time. Oi. Oh, 
Ugh, oh my gosh. Holy guacamole. Shell jumps into heckin' motor skills? What even is this? Oh my god! Ah! Please, let my pe the one single shell jump. Gosh. Ugh! Finally. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> you feel it? Yeah. Like, I'm looking forward to playing Sheffy 1. Oh. Like, at some point. I mean, I have to play it, so. It's just like, when it comes to, like, those those ones, because those ones have custom ASM for, like, physics. Ugh. Only two does. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Only the shells are different. I just don't want it to, like, mess up everything I have ever known about Kaizo, right? Like, I really don't want to get used to, like, a different shell physic and then come back and just get absolutely bodied by everything, every single shell I ever play with. Right? That's what I'm trying to avoid. It's like, oh, am I going to have to relearn shells twice? That's cool. Okay. Well, I can't do I can't do mid arrows anyways, so not on a not a controller or not not on hitbox anyways. I guess I'm gonna grab some popcorn.
Jeez, not that serious, guys. Think, Mark, think. No! Thanks for uh, being here so you don't get fined. Wait till I start going down before I go over that center line. Yo, moose, take this much, dude. Kind of freaked me out. Where are Ah! Yo, moose, time for a spin. Yo, my dude. Let's go. Yeah, Sheffy, Sheffy 1 and 2 are on the list at some point. Yo, Aspex, how you doing? Yo, Westrider, thank you for the gift sub, dude. Oh, it's loud. Alright, hold up. Let's get the heck and wheel spin. Yo, Moose, Westrider, thank y'all so much. Holy heck. Alright. <laughs> Oreos are poop! I know that person. I know that person. I'm doing good. Oh god. This music does not mix with uh, <laughs> this music in the game. Green olives! I'm gonna have to grab those. Alright, and then let's see what this one is. Yo, making that gift sub. Let's go. Hell yeah. And Flavor Blast. Oh, what a wonderful combo. All right, be back a second. Let me, uh, let me go grab the olives, because the old one I had is dead, so BRB. Green olives, your favorite. I'm glad you like them. Flavor Blast to Street MSG now. Sorry, not here to <laughs> Yo, West Rider, thank you so much. Need some pumpkin bread. Alright, so we got some olives with pimiento. Yeah. Disgusting. Oh, yeah, Andy. Ugh. All right. 
What does gifting a sub do for the channel? Um, it gives somebody emotes and then I get money. <laughs> Subs keep me doing what I'm doing. Also, every two gift subs, you get to spin the wheel. Alright, Flavor Blast is sugar-free Mio with no caffeine. Straight up. <clears throat> ah. Ooh. Ooh. Straight Mio hits different. It's like the most intense orange ever. That look like it hurts? It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. It doesn't hurt, it's just like... It's a lot of orange, a lot of citrus. Yeah, uh, supporting the stream through the through gift subs, bits, all that jazz. Heck, watching ads, the Patreon, all that stuff. Helps me keep doing what I do. Because <clears throat> without you, this stream wouldn't be possible. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, Flavor Blast isn't bad, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. Very intense citrus. Oh. <laughs> Gifting subs contrib contributes to my suffering. I mean, yeah. That's fair. say though the pumpkin bread I made turned out super good like I'm actually genuinely um, happy with how that turned out it turned out freaking really good Ugh. I wouldn't say all Kaizo is suffering there are some Kaizos that are suffering yeah. just pure suffering Existence is pain. Made eggs with Taco Bell Chipotle sauce on the side. Okay. I mean, Taco Bell Chipotle sauce isn't bad. They had that Reaper sauce for, like, one week. And it was, like, super good. Yeah, and then it just didn't exist anymore. And then they just removed it from the menu. It's kind of dumb.
<laughs> keep some begging. Yeah. Hey. I usually don't get the Diablo sauce. It's usually a little more on like the bitter side. Like even now I use like fire sauce, like if even that sparingly. I feel like once you get to the point where it's like hot sauce doesn't have flavor, it's just hurts. Like that's that's dumb territory. Like I agree. Like I don't mind it being hot. It's just you know, actually taste like something. Add something to the dish besides like my mouth is numb. You know? And motor skills. Motor skills shall jump hell. Yeah. Yo, welcome back, hero. Yo, read that DM from Heckberto. Get those belts. Get those turn ins, man. Yo, welcome back, dude. Yo, pure lucky RNG, let's go. Which, uh, which hot sauce are you talking about? Papaya version. Because, like, I like hot sauce. I, have, I still have, like, Cholula hot sauce from, like, last year's Christmas that I'm working on. Because I love hot sauce. I just have to use it very sparingly. Kona? Yeah, it's not something I've seen. <sighs> Would I ever buy a Hooters hot sauce brand? No.
I mean, a bottle of hot sauce for me is gonna last like a long, 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 long time. So I don't use it very often. A bottle of hot sauce lasts you about two to three days. Holy heck. Spice Queen. <laughs> Put it on everything. I had sriracha to a lot of stuff, but even then, like depending on what I'm cooking, I guess. Hey. Yeah, I don't know. Hooters, Hooters hot sauce. I don't know what they're bringing to the table. I mean, like, if you like it, I mean, go for it, right? But that's just not so, that's not something I would go out of my way to buy. That like, I've been there one time and it was like super awkward. <laughs> no thanks. Never again. Yeah, that's probably the only way I would even consider it, is by trying it from somebody else's house. Never deny those free belts, man. streams in the morning. Yo, welcome everybody. Oh god. Yo, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yo, Arthur Blues, what are you playing today? Deer summer sausage. Let's go. I haven't had venison in a long time. Pears and gray witch got his brain. <laughs> well, Molly, 
y'all get to watch me uh, hopefully beat this uh, game. And the plan is we're going to play some Yakuza 0. Because that game's heckin' good. He has to play it at weird hours. <laughs> is there, like, time-based stuff you have to do? Oh my gosh, I can't imagine a game, a puzzle, like a puzzle hack or something with, like, real-time shenanigans you gotta deal with. Okay, I have no idea what Pears in the Grey Witch is, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea. He's got the Pears bug, though? Okay. Pears are delicious. It's a very good, bad game. Okay. Fair enough. Does this happen to me? Jeez Louise. It's a very good bad game, huh? Okay. cider beer and it was horrible? I'm sorry. I mean, like, that sucks, dude. I've had a lot of, like, horror ciders, and they've all been pretty freaking good. I don't think there's, like, been any that, like, I haven't liked. Now, if somebody made, like, a durian hard cider, I'd probably stab them, but that's not the Beat the level within five minutes, you can donate 50 bucks, you're on. I have no idea how much longer in this level, but sure, there's no there's no downside to taking this bet. <laughs> the fastest strategy is stand in a place for 12 minutes. What? It seems pretty, uh, pretty cosmic brain. I'll have to check out this game. Is this game on Steam, or... Is it somewhere else? Is it like a browser-based game? Because I still have to play, like, Baba is You and... Overgen and stuff like that. It's not a good game? Look it. I'll have you know that I like bad games. I'm playing Kaizo. That should have been your first clue. Boss fight, you will not be able to change your jump, but you will be able to spawn a shell by pressing the R button. Oh, 
Oh, this is so weird. Hold up a second. Let me try and cheese this real quick. Okay. Like, if I can get it to allow me to... I don't think I can hit this thing. I know, right? Definitely heck, Virgo. West Rider. I don't know if that was five minutes. I was. I. I don't know. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I don't know how long it took. What is that in the horizon? I wonder. Looks like various dragons. Oh God! Don't don't say that. Don't say those words. I don't think I'm ready for it. Not yet. If you did like this game, just wait for Shell's Redeemer, the sequel. You can't donate via PayPal? Rip, dude. Rip or Roonies. That's all good. No worries, West Rider. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Now the credits. Here be dragons. That was a good hack. 229.50. Alright, everybody, we are going to swap over. I'm going to take a quick break. Yo, L Dad X2, L Dad X2. Wow. I wish I got a shout out in a special section where it says Cuckoo Show and then Cuckoo Show. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to play Yakuza 0. Jeez Louise. Yo, level 12! Yes! Yes, queen! Yes! What? Yes, queen! Yes! Isn't that right, Lily? Yes, queen! Yes! I mean, yeah, if you want to avoid spoilers altogether, it's probably best you do duck out. Like, if you plan on playing it anytime soon. Alright, so tomorrow we'll get, we'll be playing through uh, Intrigue of Kittens, and probably Mario Mission, and then we'll do, um, we'll do some more Casio. Yo, 152 Kaizo's done! Let's heck and go.
Oh, you have a bubble and a half until 12, or into 12? Let's go, dude. Yo, hell yeah, man. I don't know if I've played any of Johnny's hacks. I really don't know. But I mean, like, there's only, there's only a couple hacks that there was a couple levels I didn't enjoy. Yeah, Johnny Mandro made Intrigue of Kittens, yeah. But like, I really think there's only been, there's, there's never been a hack that I've been like, wow, this hack sucks. There have been levels in a hack where I'm like, wow, that level sucks. And it was because the main thing that comes to mind is uh, the dream one, Deep Dream World with the hidden secret exit bullshit. Ugh. There's one of his hacks, the first one that's just exceptional, the second and third one are good, but not as good. We'll see. I mean, overall, I think there's only been two hacks of like the 152 that I played that I didn't care for. That's a pretty good percentage. Not gonna lie. All righty. I will be right back, everybody. Hang tight. I'm gonna use the restroom and stuff, get some more water. Gonna start warming up the voice acting and all that jazz so we can get some uh, Yakuza going. Oh, yeah. Gotta get that. Gotta get that craziness going. All right, so I will be right back, everybody. Hang tight. Give me a moment. Oh, God. Computer, please. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> 